I think everything is fighting for attention at the moment. As yeah. I said earlier, we've never had almost this much news going on. I think one of the most interesting things to see was the Bank of England's decision yesterday to see that actually one member of the MPC did vote for cuts. Now that's a really big shift in, in tactic, but I still think we won't see anything tangible until later in the year, which is market expectations as well. Mm. Now at the same time, we've had a huge amount of tech stocks, earnings reports. And what's interesting is that last year it was all about the picks and shovels. But actually this year it seems more about monetization and how they're actually using AI. I'm really glad you said that because I've had so, I mean, we, we've had to do so many panels, especially at the World Economic Forum and, and, and affiliate events as well, where the words picks and shovels come up <laughs> all the time. And as you quite rightly say, you get an amazing multiple for being picks and shovels and being slightly agnostic about what people do with them, but you just want to sell them to them as well. In terms of monetization, I think it's great, but it goes way out of the tech sector, the monetization of AI. It goes to every, it's a bit like saying to a company, have you got .com or have you got email addresses? Of course you want every company to have it. Same issue with the cloud. Is it the way with AI that every company's just got to get on board? I think we're seeing that and already, I think we've spoken about this before, AI is so much more present than we realize. You know, it is being built in, but what's really interesting is the, the growth of the actual, the large language models and generative AI. And that's what's relying on the cloud to really succeed. And that's still very much early stages, much earlier than perhaps the media gives the impression of. Yeah. Um, it's very mixed, the commentary, right? So there is a view that the implementers will win this year. That was from the CFO of Google Report telling me in Davos. But equally, we're hearing that we're still at the starting point in terms of coming up with use cases. So it feels like you come up with a use case, you have to quickly implement it to get the outcome. What did we see from the tech earnings that suggests that there is implementation going on? I think we're seeing it being woven in better and the capabilities for expansion are being built in. So we look at Amazon and their bumper results. A lot of that came from the Amazon warehouse services, you know, building that cloud infrastructure that these AI programs can then run off in the future. It's not that exciting though, is it? I mean, we've been talking about cloud for a long time and to get another slight bump higher in cloud numbers thanks to the AI journey, it's not really justifying the hype that we've had through 2023 on the AI story. No, and I think that's why it ticks back to the monetization. You know, we don't want to get too caught up in getting too overexcited about things that haven't come in yet. It's actually looking at things such as, you know, daily users, take up, and whether that capability is built in. And we saw that with the poor results from Intel, you know, not being able to build the warehouse they expected and therefore suffering for it. Is Meta a more interesting play then based on what we're seeing? It's using the AI to try and maximize its ad targeting. We know that ads are the bulk of all of its revenue. Is it more of a traditional way to play the AI story because we know what the revenue model looks like at Meta? I think it's yet to kind of unwind whether that will play out better or not. But I think what was interesting about Facebook's results, there was nothing not to like. They almost swept aside every controversy they've been battling. If you think of 2023 when Zuckerberg said it was the year of efficiencies, they really have changed tactic and almost built the solid foundations to grow.